Pop OS, a distro created by the team at System76. It's the distro that they ship with their laptops and computers. However, you can you don't have to buy one of their machines in order to use the OS. You can just download it here. And Pop OS is basically it's kind of like Ubuntu, but with a bunch of defaults and things that a lot of people would probably enjoy. So it's a, uh, I guess you could call it just works distro. So, so you can read all of the stuff here and other stuff. Check out all the computers that sell like this cool keyboard. But to get started, let's go and run the virtual machine. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and make you full screen. So, and then when, upon installing it, or not installing, upon running the ISO, we get access to the installer, which is a very nice GUI installer. Pretty straightforward. Just leave everything default. We're going to clean install on this device. There we go. Simple password. This says it's just a virtual machine. I don't need any encryption. So don't encrypt. There we go, and just need to restart the device. It's a very quick installer. Then we just need the login. And then... We're there, we get a nice welcome screen, but first thing I want to do... 1080... There we go, that's much cleaner. Like any good uh, distro, or any good like beginner, or not bigot, any good just works distro comes with a nice welcome screen. It allows you to set things. You can have no dock, just like it is in default GNOME. You can have a dock that extends, a dock that extends to the edges, like it is by default. Dock that floats, but we're gonna keep it as the defaults. And then, there you go, next. And then you can configure whether you want to see the workspaces button or the applications menu button. And you can put where you, the center left or or, or you, can, you can put the the clock and the notifications on either side of the screen, which one you which in which one you ever which one whatever you wish to do. That is a hard combination of words to say. Go next and then you can change super key settings, which is notifying you about. You can use touch gestures. This is a desktop, so that's unfortunate. And then you could use a light or dark mode. Dark mode if you like seeing a mirror of yourself in the bright light, and light mode if you enjoy flashbang yourself in a dark room. So we'll just leave it on the dark default because I kind of rather like the colors, the lights kind of, I wish this would be light, but I can't be the one who chooses that, so just keep it dark. And then you location services, just select uh, Denver, and then you can integrate online accounts if you wish, which we're not going to because we care about our privacy. And then you can start using Pop OS. Now we did probably want to run some updates, which the first another thing that just works distros have that's really nice is a very easy to use application for installing software like an app store because everyone's familiar with an app store nowadays. It's the Pop Shop. 
believe it's the exact same program or because it was co-developed with the elementary OS team. But let's update, easily access updates. And we can install things. But it's a very nice user-friendly application that's straightforward to use. Luckily, in this version of Pop! OS, they actually use a more recent version of GNOME, so they don't have weird things like when Steam can uninstall your desktop environment because of dependencies. But how the basic navigation works is SuperKey gives you a bit of a launch thing, so it could be like a Firefox. And then you can launch it with numbers, but say I actually want firmware, so I'm going to launch firmware, so you do Control-3. Which, we have no devices. So I wonder what version of uh, GNOME they're using. They're using GNOME 42. And they're using X11. Which is kind of sad, but then again, Wayland is not exactly ready for wi widespread use. I mean, if you just use a web browser all day long, it, I believe it's perfectly fine, but if you do anything other than that, you're, it's not really ready, most because of hotkeys. You can do workspaces, which does it like how they used to be, unlike how you could, would do it in, uh, in GNOME, where they now are side to side. This is like it was in GNOME 3. And then applications, which is a nice applications launcher. Got your volume, your, the same thing as it is in GNOME, not that special. One thing that is special is they have a tiling thing. So to turn it on, you can either go up here, flip this, or you can do a super Y, super y which enables tiling. And then you can use the launcher that launch a new program like Firefox which it'll then automatically tile once it launches like that then to move windows around you do a super enter and whatever window I believe your cursor is under it allows you to modify it so to change it you could do vim keys or you could use arrow keys and going left and right moves it around and then you can do shift arrow keys and to the left decreases its size and to the right increases its size which is annoying when the window is on the right because it's direct the arrows are reversed but i imagine they can't do much and then and then oh yeah and then when if once you're happy with the size which oh you're happy with its position or whatever like that you then hit enter to confirm the change then you can look at all the view all the hotkeys by looking in here they also automatically tile by dragging, which is actually kind of cool. So you can see all the hotkeys or whatever you can do. So if you really enjoy your tiling window managers, or you want to get into them, but you don't, and you don't want to deal with all the complexities that come with making window manager work, you can just use Pop! OS and get a feel for one before you jump. So let's turn off tiling for now. It's kind of nice that it keeps all the windows at sensible sizes. Right, it looks like we need to restart, so we'll restart. And we're back and didn't save our screen resolution, so we should probably just change it manually. All right, 19, 20, 1080. Keep changes, and that should. And then, of course, they have different scaling, like 200%, which would be way too big on a 1080p monitor. They also have fractional scaling, which is not the greatest on X11, but you can do it. It works better on, on uh, Wayland, but we can, can we enable Wayland? I might want to try that. 
Let's see, do we have access to Wayland? Let's see. Click here. Can we not? Yeah, I guess we can't go in the Wayland. Yeah, I wonder what extensions they have. A default, I keep on. Uh, extensions. What do they have? Cosmic Dock. Cosmic Workspace. 11 Gestures. Cosmic. System76 Power, which is a power management thing, which if you're on a laptop, you use it. Never tried it, so I don't- I can't tell you how good it is, so there's that. And then, the, I guess this is for, uh, your application icons, your system tray. Ah, the pop shell is what gives you the tiling. Which then, they have the tweak tool. Well, that's nice, when searching for something, you can install things if it's not there. That's useful. So that was a quick look at Pop! OS, a distro that I highly recommend for new users, especially since you have two versions that work for your Intel and AMD machines, and then you have your, your NVIDIA drivers, because NVIDIA drivers are annoying to set up, so they have that, so it's nice and convenient for you. So it's a great distro to game on. The only annoying thing is since it's based off of Ubuntu, means that you have a older kernel, so we can look. Let me see, uh, where are you, kernel? Yeah, yeah. actually, it's a fairly up-to-date kernel, but the latest kernel is 5.19, which came out not that long ago, and before on the Gen 2 machine, I think I had uh, 5.18 or 5.19, is that a, you know, 5.18 something. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Minix out. This is a really nice wallpaper. Too bad they put their branding on it. Wonder where I can get it.